Hey YouTube, this is Derek13, and in this video I'll be showing you on how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch on the iOS 4.1 firmware using Snowbreeze version 2.0.1. And in case you're just wondering, no, this jailbreak does not use the new Shatter exploit. That exploit will be used in the green, the new Green Poison jailbreak, which should be coming out um, within one to two weeks. Anyways. Let's get to the what um, devices this jailbreak works for. So this whole list will be in the description. So that's the one thing with Snowbreeze that you need to know is for different devices you need to have certain things before you can do this. Like you need to be already jailbroken or you need to be on a certain firmware or whatever. But basically this jailbreak works for the first gen iPod Touch, the second gen iPod Touch non-MC and MC, the iPod Touch third generation, the first generation iPhone which is the iPhone 2G, the iPhone 3G and the iPhone 3GS old and new boot ROM. Now remember, you can't just say old. I just said your like if I just said your device, you can't just skip onto the jailbreak and hope for it to work. You gotta look at what it says. This whole list will be in the description. So say you have an iPhone first generation, so you have to look and it, and it says iPhone 2G can be on any firmware and does not need to be pre jailbroken, meaning. It won't matter. You can be on firmware 3.1.3 and you can just use this jailbreak. Or say you have an iPod Touch third generation. Then you must be on 3.1.2, non-jailbroken. You have to do a special checkbox in expert mode when building the custom IPSW. So don't worry, I'll go through all of that, but make sure you know what you need to have. And also this jailbreak will retain the baseband, meaning it will not update your baseband. And it will also hackivate your iPhone without a SIM well, basically, they'll activate your iPhone, which is activating your iPhone without a SIM card. And on 4.1, if you retain an unlockable baseband, then you can always use Ultra Snow. All right, so let's get on to the tutorial. You want to go to this website right here, which will be in the description down below. And you want to click Download for Snowbreeze 2. And it should bring you to Mediafire, and you want to click here to start download and you will need WinRAR to open up the .zip file so the jailbreak should be pretty quick I'm just gonna exit out of my browser here that was a pop-up from the website so once the downloads finished it should open it in WinRAR you can just drag the Snowbreeze version 2 onto your desktop so now as you can see I got the program right there so now you can simply double click it and just select yes. Remember this works for Windows only, I forgot to mention that. It should be in the title though. Alright, so now just make sure to click OK. Click next. You want to select expert mode, do not select simple mode. And now it's going to ask you to select the IPSW. So for this jailbreak you will need the 4.1 um, firmware for your device on your computer somewhere. So I'm just going to click browse. I'm just going to scroll down. Yeah, I think I know where it is. So as you can see, I have it right there. iPod 2.1 4.1 and click open. And it will process it. And while it's processing, I just want to show you where you can get the 4.1 firmware for your device if you need it. So I'll have this link in the description down below this video um, but anyway it's like the Felix Bruins and basically you can go to iPhone iPod touch and you can select whatever device you have on 4.1 and then you can just download it so remember that link for this website in case you don't already have the 4.1 firmware um, will be in the description and you can download it and save it to your computer so once it's done processing it will ask you if your is your iPod touch 2G an MB or an MC model so if you have MB, select MB. If you have MC, select MC. So I'm going to select MB. And then click Next. And now you can just press General. And I will enable background wallpaper, battery percentage, and native multitasking. And so now let's click Next. Next. And I'm just going to use those two custom boot logos. And then you want to press build IPSW. And now this may take a while, so I'll be back when it is finished. Alright, and then it should say done. 
and then so now you're gonna have to now it's gonna ask me if my iPod Touch 2G is already jailbroken I say no and now it's gonna help me do a DFU mode so first I start off by turning off the device and also I've got to say but I'm gonna have an annotation in the video but when I was checking off the stuff um, there's one check mark at the very bottom and that's a special check for the iPod Touch third generation or iPhone 3GS new boot ROM and it's like make so it says like for new boot ROMs only so you just gotta check that off I'm gonna have an annotation in the video um, telling you guys to do that anyway so once you have it turned off you can press start alright it's gonna ask me to press home and power at the same time so I'm doing that with one hand. It's pretty amazing. For 10 seconds, and then it's going to tell me to let go of the power button, and I'm leaving down the home button. Now it's going to count down from 30. So now this is basically iRev, but built in to the program. All right, so now it's doing a few things to my device. And I know this seems really complicated to jailbreak, but you know you just gotta go through it like and just try to get the right things because it's really hard for um, to explain everything for every single device in a video, especially when I don't have every device. But now it says waiting for custom firmware on. I it should say that on your device, as you can see, waiting for custom firmware. And if you get an error, then you just unplug it and replug it and do it again. So now cleaning up clearing up all right so now this is just if you get another error all right so now you want to minimize everything and you should see a new firmware on your desktop called snowbreeze ipod touch 2g 4.1 so you now want to open up itunes And just let it recognize it and then you want to press shift on your computer don't want to download that you press shift on your computer and at the same time click restore so shift button on your keyboard then you want to select the snow breeze custom firmware and hit open and it should restore All right so right now it's currently restoring and on your device um, it should restore so I'll be right back when the restore is done Alright, so once it is finished restoring, um, it should uh, just ask you that it's like a pop up on iTunes should come up saying that the jailbreak was finished. Well, not the jailbreak, but the restore was finished and um, it's been restored to factory settings. And then, so on your device, you should get the Snowbreeze logo. And just let it boot up, and it will say the connect to show the connect to iTunes logo. And iTunes should recognize it. Now you should be able to slide to unlock. And now this is a second gen iPod, and I have multitasking, background wallpaper, and Cydia, which means it's jailbroken. Thanks for watching guys, if the video worked for you, please remember to thumbs up, leave a comment, and also subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all later.